hello everyone welcome to this new video on the admin certification question and this is from the summer 21 so which is the current season which is going on so i'll be talking more in detail on the questions we have and stay tuned before that please do hit the subscribe button and which will encourage me to more make more videos and also the bell icon icon for the new video notification i also make certifications certification videos on the other topics as well and in case of any question please do contact me here and i'm more than happy to help you so let's begin okay let's go to the first question and it says northern trail outfitters wants email received from the customer to generate cases automatically Okay, and how should the administrator ensure that emails are sent to the correct queue? <clears throat> okay, so there are two parts in this one to create the e emails received from the customer to generate the cases and the second one to ensure that emails are sent to the correct queue. Okay, and the options we have is a create an escalation rule to send cases to the correct queue and B configure email to case so emails are delivered to the correct queue okay and c utilize a flow to identify the correct queue and assign the case and d use a custom email service to set the owner of the case upon creation okay and c and d are not a good fit so i don't think you can utilize the flow to create email to case maybe it can be utilized to assign it a correct view but not to create cases and d use the custom email service to set the owner upon the case creation but that's not what we wanted to achieve as per this question okay so the answer lies in between a and b let's go to a first create an escalation rule to send cases to the correct view okay this is this statement is true but it escalation rule can be used to send cases to the correct queue but you cannot use it to create the cases which we received as email from the customers so if you configure email to case b then emails can be delivered to the correct queue so i'll show you how when you configure the email to case you can select the uh, you know required queues that you can configure it to move so the b would be the right answer in this question let me show you some reference material okay okay here in the escalation rules it says automatically escalate cases when case meets the criteria defined in the rule entry you can create rule entries which define criteria for escalating the case and escalation actions which define what happens to the case escalates so this talks mainly about you know creating the criteria for the case and taking the escalation action and the escalation action can be also to assign it to the queues but this nowhere talks about creating the case when the customer emails are sent however if we go to send and receive emails with email to case feature i think most of you might be aware of this feature so when you configure this you can you know uh, somewhere here yeah you can get your cases into service cloud fast and quick guided setup flow for email to case and connect your support email address to salesforce give your incoming case a default priority and queue so you can assign the default priority and the queue when you're configuring email to case so that you know sending it to the correct queue is taken care as requested in this question so the correct answer is b configure email to case so emails are delivered to the correct queue moving on the next question is cloud kick needs to ensure appropriate shipping details are used in the orders okay and rep should have a streamlined solution to update the shipping address on the selected orders associated with an account when shipping address is changed on the account okay and in this case what should administrator need to do to achieve this requirement okay the options are 
a screen flow on the order page that lets rep choose updated account shipping address in all open associated orders uh, i doubt because this happens as per the question the shipping address changes on the account and the screen flow on the order page doesn't matter like you know even if it updates on the account and they can showing the order page doesn't make sense so i don't think it's a is the right answer and let's go to the b b an auto launch flow on the order page that updates all open order shipping address whenever the account shipping address changes and again this is an auto launch flow on the order page what will be the trigger that's not you know uh, that doesn't make any sense because when the shipping address changes on the account you cannot invoke auto launch flow on the order page um, i would say this is also not relevant so next option is a screen flow on the account page that lets rep choose the updated account shipping address in open associated orders so uh, again the screen flow like you know it, the updates is happening on the account again launching the screen flow on the account page and let rep choose the updated account shipping address in open associated orders so even i'm not sure if this could be possibly yes but there could be more relevant answer i would say you know the in launching the screen flow on the account page when the shipping address changes like you're launching an order shipping address page when you update the shipping address on the account which may not make sense in the right answer let's check the fourth one an auto launched flow on the account page that updates all open order shipping address whenever the account shipping address changes yes this is possible because now as per the question it says you know whenever the account shipping address is changed we need to update i mean we need to have a streamlined process to have this shipping address on the open orders or orders associated to that account so this would be like without the rep intervention and it the question doesn't say the rep need to enter address or change make any changes to the address you know if it is just the address on the account this would be the right option like an auto launch flow on the account page that updates all open order shipping address whenever the account shipping address changes so yeah i would go with d as the right answer for this question and this auto launch flow can update the order page and let me take you to that reference what it does exactly okay here we are at triggers for auto launch flow so it says you know this is on the account you can trigger this on the account it says in the start element of an auto launch flow you can specify trigger that launches the flow the flow trigger can be schedule or a new and changed records of the specific object so without a trigger you must set up other things to launch the flow such as custom buttons processes apex classes or even instant bots so we have all the options but we have the option the correct option in this case would be flow trigger can be scheduled or new change record so in this case it's a change record it would be changed shipping address on the account that would trigger this auto launch flow and if we go to the record triggers that make before save and here you can see okay the record trigger flow that makes before save updates and it is you can go through this definition here it says 10 times faster than the record change process and since it's a before save so right now before save is not in the question so we just need to make sure whether this flow can update related records because order is a related account of the related record of the account so here it says you know because of the speed we recommend that you use before separate in the flow to update the fields on the new or changed records however sometimes you must use record change process or an apex after trigger two and it to create or update related records so in this case this makes sense because account has a related record as order so we have to update the order with the same shipping address what is there on the account so this makes sense to me and it's d 
which is the right answer in this question okay and the next question is the human resource department at north northern trail outfitters wants employees to provide feedback about their managers using a custom object in the sales force it is important that the managers are unable to see the feedback records from their staff okay and here we have the options how should an administrator configure the custom object to meet this requirement okay and it says set the default external access to private this is nothing but org wide default to private setting the org wide default to private then i think uh, the feedback records will be owned by the respective uh, you know staff but these are to be shared with the human resource department so that's why this can be true but the more relevant would be the other options let's check and it says define a criteria based sharing rules and i don't think this also could be the right answer because it's based on the record data i mean data in the field you define a criteria and then you share a record so it may not be that relevant to this requirement and uncheck the grant access using hierarchy yes possible and configure an owner based sharing rule again you know this all sharing rules extend access to the record not limits the access so in this question we have to limit access to the managers so to achieve that these are the options and out of this the correct correct option i think is c uncheck grant access using hierarchy okay let me show you how okay talking about external i mean default external access so this is mainly for you know the external organization wide defaults enable you to set different default access level for the external users but here we have to limit access to the managers who are also internal users so this talks about external users so this is out of context external user and this is the same thing and this is our wide default okay let me show you this one now yeah sharing types so we had owner based sharing rules and even criteria based sharing rules and you know again this is owner based sharing rules open access to the records owned by certain user so this again open access but here in this case we have to limit access so this is not the right one and in the criteria based sharing rules it determines with whom to share records based on the field values so the field values can be anything because it's a feedback record and we cannot determine to whom to give access based on that so i come here and uh, this is the right answer is what i will be selecting so it says determine whether users have access to records they don't own including the records to which they don't have sharing access but someone below them in the hierarchy does so once you know the someone below the hierarchy has a access to record and you don't want the people who are above the hierarchy to share that record you know we have to uncheck this control accessing using hierarchy okay let me read this this is very important beyond setting the organization wide sharing default for each object you can specify whether users have access to the data owned by or shared with their subordinates in the hierarchy so for example the role hierarchy automatically grants record access to the user above the record owner in the hierarchy yes as per this question you know the manager can also access the records of their subordinates but the requirement what we have is we should limit that because it's a feedback record so by default grant access using hierarchy option is enabled for most standard object fine and it can only be changed for the custom objects so you can enable disable only for the custom objects so right now in this question we have a custom feedback object and it can be changed so the grant access using hierarchy can be unchecked with that the managers of the users will not be able to see the feedback of their staff so the correct 
correct option is uncheck grant access using hierarchy